Hi, I'm Joe Parisi. I'm the studio and audio director at Enfusion. Hi, I'm Carissa Isolano, and I'm the art director here. And we're going to give you a sneak peek at Space Noir. So uh, let's get started. Our game is about Hal Markham, a bounty hunter working off the books for the galaxy's largest corporation, Syntax. What we're looking at here is his garage and home in Dig City. There's a lot to do here, but we're going to cover that another time. Yeah, so let's uh, jump right into the action. What we're about to show is uh, pre-alpha, so a lot uh, may change or is work in progress. We're always trying to improve the game, so a lot may change for release. Mr. Hemick, ship this is a side quest where we've been hired to defend a black market dealer ship depot the until he can defend it himself. This is more on the lighter action side and not so much the heavier noir story elements that are in the game, which we haven't really shown yet, but that's not too far off. If you look in the top left corner, you can see our comm link for the game. Our comm link is where we display information such as different characters, different story objectives, um, or even just pieces of the environment that we want to show the player. Where we are right now is on the surface of our Ghana, which is the blizzardy snow planet of our game. Our game has surface and space missions, so we're going to show you our surface mission today. Yeah, and uh, what's really cool is as uh, you play through the game, you'll be doing certain missions that will actually change the environment, and that will continue to be around when you come back and do later side quests and stuff like that. So it looks like we're almost at our objective here. Uh, that blue exclamation mark in the distance. Oh, enemies. You can see on screen right now our radar pulse, which is really our answer to how to blend the what the radar is doing into the game world so that we don't have to have this UI cluttering the screen or anything. It really keeps the player engaged in what he's doing. Yeah, we have these really huge environments and it really helps to navigate. You can see how uh, nimble the ship is. We have it barrel rolling, doing 180s. Uh, it's really important for our game that not only you have uh, strong offensive abilities, but really strong defensive abilities as well. We want lots of evasive maneuvers and being able to outmaneuver your opponents as opposed to just having stronger weapons. Going along with our minimalist HUD that we have for the game, one of the really cool features is that we actually display the health of the player on his ship, which is all those nice little red pipes that are in the back. And as the player takes damage, you can actually watch those drain, which is really cool. Um, we also have a reticle that doubles as your primary, secondary, and utility uh, display for information. So each piece of the reticle represents your blasters, your missiles, or your utility. Yeah, and of course, we're just showing blasters and missiles right now, but there's an entire arsenal you can equip. Uh, you can equip two weapons at any time, plus a third utility, which we'll give you an example of a little later. And they are all fully upgradable. And what's a cool thing about our upgrade system is it doesn't just increase the stats. Um, once you get a weapon or utility to a certain level, uh, a basically a new version of it appears. Like for the blasters, you'll gain some extra blasters, and for the missiles, you can lock onto multiple enemies and fire at, at the same time. So stuff like that is really cool. And it's not just weapons and utilities. You can upgrade your hull, your thrusters, uh, you know, change the paint job, all kinds of stuff you, you can do. Something that's really important for us with our art style was really pushing everything over the top. Our explosions, if we made them and we liked them, we'd make them three times bigger. Our blaster feedback is really big. You get a lot of feedback in our game and it keeps the game really exciting. Yeah, I really like the way that you see it splashes off the mountains and different objects and stuff. It's awesome. So it looks like some new powerful enemies have appeared, these big guys over here. They're not the, as easy as the grunts, you have to take out their weak points. So as we get close, it's time to whip out our utility, and boom, cloaked. The turrets lose track of me, and I can uh, attack at will without having to worry about taking any more fire. Until, you know, the cloak wears off, of course. And we've got uh, a bunch of other utilities that do other exciting things like that. One of the cool things about the game is, depending how you outfit your ship before you enter into a mission, it totally changes how you would approach handling certain enemies and situations. One of the things that was really important to us when we started the game was how to approach the whole idea of what noir really was. And I think what we wanted to do is make sure that people knew that noir didn't have to be black and white and boring. It was really important to us to show that you know, we can have a fun, action-y kind of game and still keep a lot of the core elements that make noir what it is. We played a lot of Star Fox, we've got a lot of really big fans of Rogue Squadron here. Yeah, the Rogue Squadron, we really want, love the intensity. 
that that feeling you got you know sweaty palms holding the controllers trying to white knuckle it through the through the mission um, which you really can't uh, experience until you pick up the controller and that's really what's so special about our game is that we've looked at all these old classic games that meant so much to us and did our best to really combine all of our favorite elements from these games into just one big huge experience and that's it. Looks like we've saved the day. The ship depot is intact, just barely smoking there. And uh, Hal is going to head on back to his garage to collect on the bounty. All right, guys, thanks for watching this sneak peek at a side mission from Space Noir. And hopefully you guys are excited to see more of what we're working on soon.